Hi, this is David Zaritsky for Z Lifestyle. Welcome back. Uh, today we've got a pretty interesting challenge, if you will. By the way, I'm wearing a couple pieces from Land's End, the Land's End uh, Slim Fit jeans. Very comfortable, good on a day like today. And you'll see pretty soon what kind of day it is. And the uh, Dobby shirt, which was a big hit over the winter, and I just got it in. Really cool piece, kind of a old-fashioned vintage crepe-like textured sub-cotton, slub-cotton, excuse me. Um, really comfortable with these really cool ties on the sleeve, as you can see right here, and some really uh, interesting kind of fake epaulets that I was kind of eh about at first, but they're growing on me. But why am I dressed like this? We're going to do another field test of a Land's End Canvas product, so happy to have you on board. Um, I recently received in these. These are the Montrose Alpine Boots. Um, pretty cool looking, um, very rugged looking. In fact, uh, we want to get kind of a close-up on here. You can see that it's got some really nice uh, D-rings, um, really good rugged suede. Now we're going to find out how rugged it is today. Um, nice lug sole and the interior has some really nice cotton twill with, it seems like a little extra padding in here. So, um, well, just like we did with the campus jacket, we're going to put this to the test. So Land's End has always been a company that prides itself not only on uh, fashion, but also obviously on can you wear this and be comfortable. So we're going to go out there and what a day do we have for you. Um, first of all, we got dumped on. So the Northeast has a couple inches of snow out there, slush, and if that wasn't enough, we have a beautiful cold front coming in. So it's going to be nasty out there. We're going to give these a test and find out are they just a kind of cool looking Montrose Alpine shoe or can they really survive out there and keep me toasty. So let's go find out. Well, we're here in beautiful Tyler State Park here in Newtown, Pennsylvania. And uh, as you're going to see, we're going to take a walk in the woods wearing the boots. It's pretty cold out. Uh, not as much snow as slush as we thought, but that's okay. We're still going to put it through its paces. I was a little worried about the fit at first because um, it's a medium width. I usually take a wide width. I did size up a little bit, so we'll see if that helps, but so far extremely comfortable. Nice and warm and toasty, and as you can see, by the way, you may recognize some of the other pieces. Um, obviously, I have the flannel scarf. Thank you, John and Kira, and uh, I've got the canvas waxed okra jacket, the field jacket as well, which is incredibly warm. It's got a corduroy lining. So it should be nice and toasty. Let's go take a walk and check things out. Come on. Well, we've uh, we put this. Uh, Boot to its test, let's just say that. Uh, the lug sole's really good and thick. It has nice traction. Hard to tell, but I'm standing on a, on a pretty good angle right now. Things are wet, slippery, and icy. And you can see it's a nice grade down to the waterfalls here. Uh, even sticks nicely to kind of a tree. And that was a big test for me because to me this is a, a compromise boot. What's a compromise boot? Well, in fashion, you know, there are boots you want to put on that look really nice during the winter. If you look outside, it's cold, it's snowy, my cheeks are starting to freeze and you're worried, do I want to ruin these boots? Then there's the opposite side of boots that are totally utility boots. Um, they don't look that great. I think these fall right in the middle. I mean, they look really good, uh, the suede is very rugged, but I feel like it would keep me warm on long walks like this, even if my face is not warm. Uh, and it would stand the test of time as far as the elements itself. So I do give this high marks. Um, the fit is good even after a long walk. I was worried that my uh, my foot, as it heated up, would swell a little bit. It's not. So let's keep it going and put it through its final test.
right, so do I recommend these? Absolutely. Look, the only con that I could really find in this is that when I opened the box, it said that little bit of fusel oil, if you will, on the rubber, but a little bit of soapy water and that went away. And certainly out here on the pacing of a forest like this, all that smell's gone. It just picks up the forest air. The pros are wildly, uh, wildly deep. Um, and I think I went over them, so no, uh, no sense repeating them. These I know are on sale right now, so I would take advantage. Um, but I think it's another testimony to Lands End Canvas working on both the fashion sense as well as the practical sense. So thanks very much. Keep up the good work, and uh, we'll see you on the next review. Talk to you soon.